Alright, we're back with another post-commentary game. What do we got going on here? Snow bunting is always a great pick. Forester and Passerine Specialist. American Oyster Catcher is probably going to be my second bird pick here. Get them both down in the grasslands and just start drawing cards. Or, not grasslands, but the wetlands, rather. Just start drawing cards. Nothing amazing in the tray. Cowbird could be good. But it's always difficult to try to gauge your opening plays when you haven't even seen what your opponent is attempting to do yet. Looks like I might just be going for a snow bunting draw gambit here. Yep. Just gonna throw that bunting down in the wetlands and start drawing cards. Not really an impressive opening hand, lacking a good forest bird for any type of food generation or point scoring. My opponent kept three birds, a cherry and a worm. So they must have had some good cards in their hand to keep three like that. Throwing down that bunting. Probably going to do the classic move of laying eggs and then spending an egg to draw an extra card here on my next turn. Really trying to dig out of this bad opening hand card deficit. It's always a difficult position to be in in the early game when you just don't really have that great of an option. Keeping something like the Oyster Catcher might be good in theory, but that double worm car cost is pretty hard to accommodate. And we see the Eastern Phoebe from my opponent, so we're going to be getting... That's actually a big relief in this type of situation because maybe my opponent will alleviate my food issues here. And that, now in hindsight, it makes that Oyster Catcher look more appealing, but again, there's just no way to know what your opponent is going to do. And it hand, the Oyster Catcher hands them an extra card, but I think in this type of situation, you really... Beggars can't be choosers, and we do get lucky, and we see the common yellow throw come up in the tray, and that's exactly what we need in this scenario. Looks like I'm considering the cowbird. With that Phoebe in the wetland, yeah, I'm wiggling my cursor over it. Uh, but with my opponent playing that Phoebe in the wetlands, it's kind of signaling that they want to go wetlands. So we could see some type of wetlands tucking engine developing here. Pileated woodpecker in the forest. So the Phoebe is going to be really handy for them. Uh, definitely need to get the egg off my snow bunting, which has the appropriate cavity nest. So it's nice to already have that cavity nest on the board and not have to try to scramble to find one of those birds to uh, receive those eggs from the woodpecker. So the cowbird now is looking a lot less good if my opponent is going to be relying on their forest for their egg generation. Nice free egg. i got to try to find a way to spend that. And we just start digging. Tree creeper could be a good play with that big cavity nest. But otherwise it's just not an amazing card. Robin is a great card. Kingbird could be pretty good here because my opponent is showing forest development and I don't have any food generation right now so the Kingbird could really come through on the worm production for us. White-backed woodpecker from our opponent so they're just beefing up their food generation. It's too bad I didn't have that Kingbird down. I think, yeah, I play the Kingbird here just to get ahead of their forest development as best as I can. And I really need to get some type of that second forest bird or maybe that third wetland bird to burn that egg off the snow bunting. Because now my opponent's woodpecker can just go to town, score those two points. So we miss out on an egg there. Dig for more cards. Spotted Owl is good. It's got a cavity nest. Golden Eye could be a good egg bank for the woodpecker, but I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to play that. 
petrel is a good card drawing bird, and white start is a great food producing bird. So pretty good draw there. And I'm probably ditching the tree creeper here. It's the worst card out of everything I have in my opening hand. Or not opening hand, but my current hand. And the white start does qualify for Forester. That's kind of a no-brainer. Spotted Owl as well. So I am going to throw down the Petrol. Or get rid of the Petrol. Probably just keeping the Tree Creeper around for that big cavity nest. I'm holding on to that rat here that might be making my opponent think I have a Raven on deck. It's nice to have 50% of the food cost of the Owl. And we get a free worm. So now I can just throw down the white start and clear an egg off the bunting. So that free worm we got off the Phoebe is helping us keep up with the round goal total birds played. So we were able to tie there. Nothing great in the tray. Another free worm could flip the bird feeder here to try to get the second rat for the owl and that would develop our cavity nest space more and the owl is just a good bonus card bird that also qualifies for our current bonus card. The robin might be a good play here but I think uh, it's like I'm really considering that robin. I really think trying to get that second rat is going to be the best play here. And it looks like I'm just going to try to dig for more options. No? So it looks like I'm just digging for more options here. Nothing too great comes off the top. Cedar Waxwing is a good grassland bird. I could also potentially throw it in the forest here, but with that Robin and that Waxwing and these excess cards we have in hand, could establish a fairly strong mid-game grassland engine. So we see the bird feeder flip here and there's no rats, but there are two cherries there. That might be a good consideration to make. Grab those two cherries for the waxwing. Could lay eggs, tuck a card, get a cherry for the robin. And we pick up another egg. They dropped a godwit. It's a good bomb. So it looks like they grabbed one cherry. And it looks like I'm making the play for the Waxwing here. There's a rat in the tray. So that's probably what I'm going to do is throw it on the Waxwing, lay eggs, tuck a card, get a cherry, throw it on the Robin, and just build out that grasslands for laying eggs in the forest and working toward the round two goal of eggs in the forest. My opponent playing California quails, so they're really doubling down on their forest egg production really helps with the round goal. So it looks like I'm going a robin first to get that card cycle. Miss out on another egg, that's a bummer. So we're pushing the waxwing on the grasslands. Burning off that egg on the bunting. Three activations left be able to fill up our forest on eggs. We're probably going to lose the round goal, but we got a nice little mid-game grassland engine here. Five points and a cherry and a card cycle. Burrowing Owl, there's another cavity nest target for my opponent's pileated woodpecker. like I'm considering this golden eye. I could force it down with the food that I have. That could be a good play, forcing that down in the forest here now that I look at it. But 
and it looks like I'm going to force down the owl. And kind of an easy bonus card pick there, Ecologist. And that snow bunting isn't really doing much right now because my opponent doesn't have any tucking birds, but snow bunting is always a good card to just have on the board. It's a decent five point body. Uh, it sits in the wetlands, helps get you to column three to get those two card draws, and it's just always a threatening presence against any type of tucking bird your opponent might play, especially a predator bird. So we need one more bird to score four points in our forester. We're not going to be able to get to the top end because of the kingbird. Throw down the egg on the owl. Lay some more eggs. Pretty straightforward. Looks like I'm still thinking about that tree creeper just because it qualifies for Forester and it has a big cavity nest. Spoonbill is a good pull. Big bonus card birds are always good. Another free egg. Always welcome. Looks like we're going to pick up two rats looking to play that red tail hawk. Pat out the grasslands more. Came in second there. So a wood duck pops up. We gotta deny that, I think. Snowy Owl is looking pretty good. We even have the two rats for it. Good bonus card bird, good grassland bird. Probably ditch the wood duck here. And killdeer pops up. Kinda late in the game for killdeer. My opponent already has good egg production, but they might throw it down in their grasslands anyway for just that extra card draw, so they can have eggs and cards in the same action. But they can't let me have it, so they're probably looking at that saying they have to deny it, because with what I already have established for my grasslands, uh, early round three kill there can still put in a lot of work, it can feed that waxwing. And they don't know I have the Swift in hand, but that would be a really good play for me. So yeah, they do deny the kill there. And here comes the Swift. It's another cavity nest. That's kind of funny. We were both able to deny the card drawing bird that the other would love to have had. I got the wood duck and my opponent got the kill deer. Big denies. Long spur, good bonus card bird. Working toward the round three goal of filled columns. Here comes the snowy owl. Clearing those cavity spaces. Viticulturalist is a good pull. We have the fourth bird in hand for a maxed out Viticulturalist. And it looks like I'm going to go with the card here because I can tuck that for a point in food behind the waxwing or a point in an egg under the swift. So we're looking good for the round goal and we have Ecologist as well. So that was pretty lucky. Round four goal is birds with tuck cards. We're looking pretty good for that. You see the common swift for my opponent. They could have prairie manager, but that type of bird, the discard food to tuck teal powers, 
uh, complement forest engines very well because you can just spam that food and have a way to convert that excess food into points at the end of the round. Lingulogist here, kind of a no-brainer for a grassland engine. So things are really going our way here. And the woodpecker also fills out Forester for us, so that was just a huge play. See the Harrier for my opponent. Fill out their third column, so now we're tying on the wrong goal. Two activations left. I can't gain food and play birds in order to win that wrong goal, so it looks like I'm just drawing cards. Restock my hand, looking for a late game Benelli's and fuel for my Waxwing and Swift. And it looks like this is just going to be Egg Spam at the end. Classic Egg Spam. Strong 7 point engine to end the game. Looks like they've stockpiled their worms. More worm gain from my opponent. Spread our eggs around for Oologist. Be nice to get that spoon bill down. And we're finally giving up on the tree creeper. Bell's Rio is a good pull. Tie there. Nothing too amazing in the tray for my opponent. They're probably really looking to secure some tucking birds here. Their swift is getting them on the board for that goal though. So they took the shrike. Interesting. So they threw down Killdeer here. I'm not... I'm confused by that. A round four Killdeer in the grasslands. Must be some type of bonus card fulfillment. That killdeer just isn't going to get a lot of mileage unless they have like Benelli's or Eastern Imperial in their hand. Or Goshawk or even Sparrowhawk, I suppose. And that's the weakest of the tuck to play birds. Spreading my eggs around, trying to keep cavity nests open as best I can. But. Looks like my opponent could be going for late game egg spam in the grasslands. I'm really deliberating hard about this, putting more thought into it than I really need to, I think. Just trying to make sure I score those points off of Ulogis without also blocking me off and taking advantage of the woodpecker. And there's the Sparrowhawk, so we know he doesn't have that. That would have been a good fifth forest bird to play for Forester. But the Kingbird is blocking that top end. Might be thinking about drawing cards here. Because I have four activations left. And I can convert two cards into a Cherry and a Point. We see the Shrike from my opponent. Then I can convert another card on the Swift. That could be a maxed out Prairie Manager right there. So that could explain why they grabbed the Shrike. So that Shrike kind of combos with their Swift. They can steal my Worm if I have any. And then they can tuck it on the Swift at the end of the round. So I am going to draw cards here. Hermit Thrush, yeah, I was going to say, I got those two cherries. All I need is a worm. But, uh, my grassland engine is strong.
stronger than playing the Hermit Thrush at this point, because our Viticulturals is maxed out. So I'm probably just gonna end the game with Egg Spam. I don't one last card draw attempt to see a late game Benelli and get some added fuel for our tucking birds. And I might... What's the math look like here? Could... Discard a food for an extra egg. Yeah, Hermit Thrush ain't gonna do it. Spoonbill would be better a better play in that regard. But it looks like I don't intend to play either one. So two activations left. Twelve egg spaces open. So I can spend two food here and fill up on eggs perfectly. They're ending their game with egg spam. Three, four, five, times two is ten. So that would be 24 eggs. So that draw card action I took gave me the fuel I needed for my Swift and Waxwing without also filling up on eggs prematurely. Hermit Thrush can go. And the cards I get are just a formality at this point. Probably I'll have to skip the Waxwing in order to have a Tuck for the Robin. But ultimately it doesn't matter since it's the last activation is the same amount of points. Tuck my final two cards. Get up to 25 eggs. Should win the round goal. And we still have some space open for the woodpecker should they choose to use it. But at this point I don't think that's going to happen. We'll get the food for potential tiebreakers. Well, that was a pretty solid game. Very classic egg spam. Our opponent had a decent game as well. Feels like it might be a close game. We had the better engine, I think. One handily there. Well, if you enjoyed that game, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's see how it pans out. They did way better on bird points. And they did a lot better than I expected on bonus cards. They're maintaining their lead. We should come ahead on eggs. Ooh, it's so close. Tucked cards. 106 to 102. Really strong game from both people. Good game to my opponent.